Welcome back, guys, to Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, where last episode we traversed Route 203, emerging through the cave to enter Orbra City, the city of energy, finding our rival block in the gym, having already obtained his first badge, with the leader having headed out to the nearby mine. The town's exploration well underway. We soon head into the mine to find this gym leader. So, that's away from Orbra City. This is Route 207. That slope's too slippery. You'll need a bike to get up. You don't have a bike? There's a cycle shop in Eterna City. Dead end ski. Ooh, match up. What level? Seven. So essentially, uh, there's a Pokemon nearby that looks like it would completely and utterly destroy and annihilate the Rock Gym. <laughs> Who'd have guessed? We got a matchup. Wait a second, I need two matchups, right? Matchup state will be added to the Pokedex. It has the gravel over repeatedly to strengthen its entire body. It uses every type of martial art. Ooh. He knows all the things. Let's so add you to the party, then match up instead of Zubat. We may trade you away in the future. Berries! Found a Pokeball. <laughs> but berries! I need another matchup stat. You're not a matchup. What are you doing out of a cave? Can I trip over him? Can I sue him for an ankle injury? Oh, not sturdy. I need a second matchup. Yeah, indeed for trading. There's a guy who wants to give us an Abra. Yep, number two. The problem is I want to trade off the worst matchup? I don't know. How do I decide that? Especially if they're not the same level. Seems no one wants to hurt people up today. Everyone's like, hurry up, go to the mine. Like, I'll take my sweet time. It's catching to be done. Shinx levels up. Wants to learn the move bite. Why not? Dark type, right? Tackle Leer, finish up charge. I'll take away Leer. No nickname for matchup. I guess I'll just take out the level six one. But then I would want to see like their stats overall, wouldn't I? Should be able to see everyone's stats from here, right? Party route. Fifteen, twelve, level six. Lack special defense down, defense up. Yeah, it's so gutsy that having status condition boost the Pokemon's attack step. I don't honestly know which one's better. Because I'm not a Pokemon professor. And there are people that have got this down for a fine art, so they can just look at them and go, that's the one I want. 
That's the one I want. I mean, the other one is like good physical attack and at least has a boost in something. You'd kind of want with a special attack down, wouldn't you? An attack up, really. I think I'll trade away the level six. I think we're not min maxi guys aplenty here. So the trade was in the first one. Uh, not you. What was the trade? I think it was in the first one. Was it with you? No. No, I forgot where it is. Maybe it's up here. I've chose the wrong place entirely. This is definitely not the right place. Running on my head like, who was it? Oh, there's someone on the bottom floor of one of these. Yeah, there we go. I will trade it for your... Oh, will that bring up the boxes too? Setting match up to Hillary. Bye. And now we have a Kaza. Kaza. No, 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 now I'll have a stupid name. It sleeps for 18 hours a day, even when awake, it teleports itself while remaining seated. And that's my abra. I'll be sure to look after your matchup in return. So, well, that's one more. We got a berry as well. I can also use it to teleport, which is probably not a bad idea. Special attack up, speed down, synchronize. The attack will receive the same stats condition if it inflicts a burn, poison, or paralysis to the Pokemon. Only has teleport at the moment, but with, of course, experience share available. Also, we trade a level 6 for a level 9. Not bad. Not bad. Don't even need to heal anyone, I don't think. Everyone's proud of the mine. They're digging for coal under the sea as we speak. It's amazing how they do it. Chop, chop, my chop, chop, chop away on rocks. Hint, 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 hint. They're taking a tour of our coal mine. Wonderful, that's excellent of you. It's always good to learn about new things and broaden your horizons. Here, take this canary. Well, there's Poketch. There is joy. This actually does sound like a mind control, this is. Where there is Poketch, there is joy. Where there is Pokex, there is joy. There's no question this is hard, hard work, but working alongside Pokemon, it gives me a boost somehow. Yeah, take one of these. A super potion. Feeling held and hardy puts a smile on my face. That makes me happy. What made me happy is finding hidden items. I need a watch app that tells me where hidden items are. This part of dirty sand is called a slag heap. It's the waste from sorting coal. Looks like a dessert. We've got a lot of vehicles. Orbra a coal mine, but we're busy Pokemon. Let's get a work, shall we? And the question is, do they have rock type or do they have... Everyone who works in the coal mine keeps their own Pokemon with them. More matchups. You may be challenged to battles. <laughs> they have Pokemon that look just like rocks. They sure surprise me. You want a tour as well, are you? Here we go. Geodude. And Fiat gifting out even more subs. Thanks, bud. Level 9. It's sturdy. How much damage do you do? Two.
Luckily, the sandstorm does not mess with my accuracy. Miss an item? No, I didn't. Can you not... You do understand, we, we don't canvas rooms going like that. It's better if I just go round it. X defense. Onyx! I'm tracing the outside of the room. I'm not zigzagging for it. That's even more steps. That's even more Pokemon, right? I don't know. What is the optimum? Oh, yeah, I need to capture you. What are you doing to me? Oh, you're sturdy as well. Get in. Stop hurting poor Pipla. I better catch it now. Might have to use a better ball. Or Piplup's in danger. Rebinding on the bind, though. It's got one HP. You think what I'm using is good enough? No. Poor Piplup. Yeah, I mean, I don't really want to use the Dust Ball, but... Ugh. Onyx was not an easy catch. I was expecting a little bit more in the way of experience there. Hazard grew to level 10. Honest today will be added to the Pokedex. When it travels underground, it causes rumbling and tremors. It can move at a 50 mile per hour. We'd like to give Onyx a nickname. No, I would not. Death Snake. Yeah, I know Onyx isn't generally an easy catch. But he's 1 HP! <laughs> Succumb! Succumb, Onyx! This music reminds me of like... What the hell is this music reminding me of? What game is this? And JRPG, that's for sure, but... I dropped down there. I think I've heard that music in like a billion games. You can't know about Geodude! One of those musical threads uh, and sounds that just gets used a lot for certain things. Alien Dungeon Master, thank you very much for the two months of sub. Pokemon Diamond is where we're at. Hello. I'm at these matchup on Route 207. They've now become my most trusted partners. Chop Macho! <laughs> I'm gonna let you in on a secret. I stopped my Pokemon to work. You were challenged by Worker Mason. He sent out a matchup. How many matchups are we talking about here, though, buddy? Just the one? You can leer at me because I know you're gonna.
Oh, it's up in his crit rate, right? It's getting pumped. Oh, I lived. No, I'm flying. That can't hit me. In a flurry of feathers, we win. Excellent. Judy levels up to 12. Starly's level 13. And Starly wants to learn the move Double Team Supreme. But instead of growl, you can get higher evasion. That's why they learn double team. Dude, dude is level 12. Wants to learn the move Harden. Harden is like... Still one level of defense there, isn't it? You're already pretty hard, Geo dude, I believe. Well, now, aren't you something? Thanks for the money, man. Pokemon isn't flying though, it's on the ground. Oh, I need to teach it better. Okay, okay, time for work. I woke up at first for my Pokemon. Eh. Got a potion. Hello. Okay, stand back and watch this. Using the hidden move Rock Smash, get rid of the boulder blocking your way. Fallen boulders need to be smashed so they're out of the way. If you could get the badge from the gym in town, you'd be able to do this too. Of course, you'd have to beat the gym leader first. That'd be me! Mystery found out. A wild Geodude appears. Get him, Piplup. Ooh. We're getting near an evolution level. Sturdy. You could really level up a matchup really easily here, though, couldn't you? That polishing did you good, did it? Kazam Badoo leveled up. Alright, alright then. Just a quick battle on my break. Can't leave the cave just yet, can we? Worker Colin. Match up. What do you do? Now, do you have a sturdy Geo dude or a normal Geo dude? Not sturdy, Piplup wins. First time. I feel like the trainers tend to not have that kind of move. Why didn't I catch the sturdy one? An Onyx. Not the Onyx danger again. A normal Geodude is a sturdy Geodude, yeah. We just got the abnormal Geodude. Aha, mercy, I cry mercy. Should be using the matchups there going around, sir. Oh, I better get on back to work. You know, I'd rather be traveling around with Pokemon the way you do. But I'm an adult now. I'm not allowed joy in my life anymore. Oh no, the rock is a monster! Literally! Right, so we're done with the cave. We're done with the mine. We can now warp our way out because we brought Kazar with us, who's got teleport. Shakes levels up to level 13. I wonder what. Rocks! Uh. 
like level will be really. But does this not count as a proper mine? These fake mines. My plan is ruined. Sad times. You encountered a wild Geodude. Geodude on, on Geodude action. I made another rock just to smash that rock in a rock's face. Rockception. I could have just punched the rock in front of me, but I had to go through the extra steps. <laughs> you know, it's... Is indeed just punching the rock with extra steps. Alright then, after we heal up, let's step in for some gym battling, I feel. And hope that I'm around the light level, but I probably am. It'd be weird if I evolved my starter before I actually did the first gym, though, surely. I'm sure some people do grind that seriously. We're here! It's gym time. 14 Monsoon. Let's fight. How's it going, Chamnaby? That's what I said to a really impatient boy earlier, too. The gym leader is a user of rock-type Pokemon. Well, listen, rock-type Pokemon really hate water, all right? They're also weak to grass-type moves. Gee, they sure have weaknesses. But I don't think it'll be easy. You don't get to be a gym leader without covering for weaknesses. Going after a rock-type Pokemon with a fire-type Pokemon won't be easy either. That's all the advice I can give it. Thanks for listening. I like how always in this, they got certified trainers, just one person, Pelly Pepper. But that lady over there who had the le two level 5 Pokemon sections in there, where's her name? You avoided the long way around? Let's see why you do that. Experience? Easy or hard? I guess hard? Why wouldn't I want to do some more battles? Geodude on Geodude action. Takes me three hits though. Not very effective, but it is gaining in power. I don't think I need the quick claw. I think I'm just faster. Maybe the rock I'm pulling up is its cousin or something. <laughs> Double insult. Judy leveled up, so did Kazar. Kazan has level 12, sure, but doesn't actually have any. Now it's done why you decided to battle me. Now for the 440. Only those who want to win can challenge a Pokemon gym. You were challenged by youngster Dalius. Where's Dante? It's a Geodude festival in here. 
Come on, Geodude. I believe you can get me to the door. Rock on rock action. Nope. Lower the defense too. Ha! If only they learned about TMs. Truly, such devastation. It incredibly was my intention to come into the rock gym with a rock Pokemon and smash all the rocks down. Seems kind of... Well, you say you're the rock gym people? Look at my rocks. Wow, got even bigger rock now. Yo, dude. It's fine by me. How many more rock smashes do I have at this point? Eight more. So seven left. We avoided bind. And that's Onyx. What's he doing? He's not even using starter. Speaking of which, Pitbull's level 15. And wants to learn the move Peck. Flying type move, yeah. I replace Growl because Shaman's better. That'll be good against plants, though I wouldn't want to field you against them anyway. This is humiliating. 416 for winning. Which leaves one opponent left. One day I'm going to become a tough trainer like you. Rock! Welcome. This is the Orbit Pokemon Gym. I'm Rock, the gym leader. I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with Rock-type Pokemon. As a gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer. And I'll need to see the toughness of the Pokemon the battle with you. Look a lot older now, you're not a chibi. Gee, dude. <laughs> Continue of our Geodude on Geodude action. Level 12. Okay, it requires four rock smashes to beat this Geodude. Stealth rock. Oh, that's just... No, you can't do that. I don't know, that's, that's a rock that's a rock type move, not a thingy type move. But it does damage when another Pokemon gets switched in. At any point in time now, doesn't it? I don't think it even runs out. I think you can use certain Pokemon or certain types of Pokemon to avoid the damage, like if you were to switch in the Geodude or something, but. Uh. Not enjoying that. Buddy grew to level 13. Alright, Onyx is coming out. Uh, I have... I, I will keep current Pokemon. Stealth Rock is just around. But I'm running out of moves. <laughs> Come on, Geodude. This gym is the first stepping stone on the way to greatness. Ugh. Ugh. Unfortunately, Geodude can't take me all the way. If I went out to the Pokemon side, they probably could have done. That defense down was really good. Oh, you're screwed, man. I'm going to take Stealth Rock damage, though. What's my dodgy Geodude? Hi, 
Right, Geodude, Starly, and Kanzar have leveled up. Kranidos? What's a Kranidos? <laughs> I believe in you, Piplup. You're gonna have to take some damage, though, I'm afraid. Geodude's just run out of puff. You can take down the next Pokemon like you did the other ones. Oh! You. You broke the mold. I took stealth rock damage of five. Pointed stones. That's kind of nasty, isn't it? Oh, you're faster than me. Okay, so he lowers my defense. But I harshly lower his attack. So that we that comes out to a pure win. Yeah, kind of not as well. Take that, gym leader. No way, not yet. Not giving up. Never gonna let you down. Oh, that's just cheating. I'd never do that. Not enough. Piplup! Use your star, or I'll use mine. Shanks level up to 14. And we defeated Jimmy the Rock! What? That can't be! My buffed up Pokemon! Thanks for the money, guy. What? Starly is evolving! Starly evolved into Stalivia. Our first one. First one. They fly around forests and fields and search about Pokemon moving together in huge flocks. Why did you want me to hit B? This is embarrassing. I went and lost to a trainer who didn't have a single gym badge. Well, that's the story. He was strong and I was weak. That's all there is. Wait a second, Rock. You probably lose to all trainers that have a single gym badge mostly, don't you? According to Pokemon League rules, I have to give you our gym badge since you beat me. The gym leader. Here's your official Pokemon League cold badge. Wow. You sounded a bit sourer. You received the cold badge from Rock. Having that cold badge means you can now use the hidden move Rock Smash from your Poketch. You should also take these two. TM76s. Each GM76 contains the move Stealth Rock. It's a move that inflicts damage on opponents to switch into battle. And these are the stickers I used. Here, take some. Stickers? Incidentally, a TM will teach his move to a Pokemon instantly, but a TM will break when you use it, so be certain you want a Pokemon to learn that move. This reason us to know there are seven other gym leaders. I should warn you, they're a lot tougher than I am. Gym complete. Let's go heal. 